Thomas's friends were excited. He was taking them to the warehouse. Jack couldn't wait to get to work. Hurry, Thomas, he called. I'm going as fast as driver allows, chuffed Thomas. Don't mind Jack, called Alfie. He's always in a hurry. Soon Thomas had delivered Jack and Alfie to the warehouse. Miss Jenny warned the machines about the very busy site. So you must be careful, she said. Anyone causing an accident will be sent back to the yard immediately, added the foreman. Ned was worried. He sometimes caused accidents. He didn't want to be sent back to the yard. Don't worry, said his banksman. I'll make sure you don't back into anything. Most of the machines were working very carefully. Ned's banksman guided him around corners and through the stacks of bricks. Oh, boy, said Ned proudly. He was having fun. Jack was having fun, too, but he wasn't being careful at all. Slow down, Jack, Kelly boomed. You'll have an accident. Not me, Jack shouted cheerfully. Thomas could see Jack was being careless. He hoped his friend wouldn't get into trouble. But Jack did get into trouble. He backed into a stack of roofing slate and smashed it into tiny pieces. Blistering buckets, said Jack. He looked around. No one had seen him break the slate, not even his banksman. Jack knew he had been naughty, but he didn't want to be sent back to the yard. So he filled his bucket full of gravel and drove away. Ned didn't see the broken slate and rolled right over it. Ned, cried his banksman, you've knocked over the slate. I didn't do it, protested Ned. It wasn't me. But there was nothing Ned could do. It was an accident. His banksman would have to call Miss Jenny. It's not fair, grumbled Ned. Alfie pulled up just as Jack saw Ned driving slowly away. Where's Ned going? asked Jack. He knocked over some roofing slate, said Alfie. Thomas is taking him back to the yard. Ned was in trouble. Jack knew it was all his fault. What should he do? Alfie could see Jack was upset. What's wrong? he asked. But Jack didn't answer. He raced off without a word. Wait! Jack shouted. Wait, Miss Jenny! called Jack out of breath. Ned didn't break the slate, I did! And Jack told her what he had done. Miss Jenny was cross. It was brave of you to own up, she said. But what am I to do with you? Send me back to the yard, said Jack sadly. And so she did. As Jack was being loaded onto Thomas's low loader, he called to Ned. I'm sorry you got blamed for my accident. I should have owned up earlier. That's all right, said Ned. But I'm glad it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, sang Ned as he steamed back to work. Good for you, Jack, Thomas called. All the way to the yard, Jack felt good. Deep down in his pistons, he knew he'd done the right thing.
It was a foggy, foggy Halloween night. The Fat Controller had sent Percy to work with his friend Alfie. Percy was glad he would be with a friend on Halloween. Alfie was on a night job. He was helping mend the road through Maithwaite Forest. Percy had arrived during the workman's tea break. Kelly was going to tell a Halloween story. I hope it's not too spooky, said Percy. Me too, said Alfie. He didn't like being scared either. Rubbish, snarled Max. It's just a story, sneered Monty. Shh, said Jack. Then Kelly began. Once upon a time, there was an old steam truck. He was very cross. Someone had taken one of his headlamps. And everyone listened quietly as Kelly told the story of the one-eyed truck. And finally, the one-eyed truck chased the loader into the deepest, darkest part of the forest. Then what happened? asked Isabella. Luckily, the loader got away, but according to legend, the one-eyed truck still wanders the forest, blowing his whistle and looking for a headlamp, whispered Kelly. Maybe he wants yours. That was the best story yet, said Jack. I hope I never meet the one-eyed truck, gulped Alfie. Me too, cried Percy. Stuff and nonsense, rattled Monty. Coffee break's over, said Kelly. Back to work. Percy liked working with Alfie. Alfie is small. So is Percy. Alfie is green. So is Percy. They were having a wonderful time. But Max and Monty were up to mischief. It's the one-eyed truck! cried Max. Scaredy, scaredy, teased Monty. Stop that, boomed Jack. Pick on someone your own size. Max and Monty just laughed. Later, Max and Monty had settled down. Take these loads to the tip in the forest, said the foreman, and be careful, it's very dark. Yes, sir, said Monty and Max, and they left. As they drove deeper into the forest, it got darker and darker. The woods were full of spooky shapes and shadows. It was very scary. Suddenly, Max and Monty didn't feel so brave. What was that? clattered Max. An owl, said Monty, I hope. And that, cried Max. I don't know, said Monty. It was just a fox, but Monty and Max didn't know that. They had just arrived at the dump when suddenly they heard a shrill whistle. Then they saw a single headlamp through the trees. It's the one-eyed truck, shouted Monty. They dumped their loads and raced away as fast as their wheels could carry them. He's after us, cried Max. It's the one-eyed truck, yelped Monty. There is no one-eyed truck, said Kelly. It's just a story, chuffed Alfie. Well, what's behind us then, said Monty. It's Thomas, said the foreman. Thomas! Percy cried happily. Hello, Percy, called Thomas. The Fat Controller sent me with some more freight cars. Monty and Max felt silly. They went a beautiful shade of red. But everybody else had a good laugh, especially Alfie and Percy.
Cause it's